you know, uh, when it comes to migraine treatment, you can sometimes feel like you're trying to solve a puzzle, right? Yeah. You're constantly searching for the missing piece, the right treatment for each patient. Absolutely. It's a real challenge, especially when you consider the different triggers and symptoms involved. Exactly. So, so what if I told you there's a new way to approach migraine treatment? One that doesn't just mask symptoms, but actually targets the, the underlying cause of the pain. Well, that's the the exciting potential of CGRP targeting therapies, and, and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Interesting. Um, let's say you have a patient struggling with frequent debilitating migraines that are really impacting their quality of life. What if there was a single medication that could both stop a migraine in its tracks and and also reduce the likelihood of future attacks. That, that would be a game changer, wouldn't it? Well, that's right. exactly what we're seeing with a medication called Remigipant. Remigipant, okay. So so tell me, how does this work? Well, Remigipant belongs to a class of medications that target CGRP receptors. You can think of CGRP as a messenger molecule that plays a key role in, in triggering those intense pain signals in the brain during a migraine attack. So Remispan is essentially blocking those pain signals from getting through. Exactly. By blocking those CDRP receptors, Remigipant effectively cuts off the communication pathway that, that leads to that migraine pain. And what's really exciting is that it can be used to both treat an acute migraine attack, you know, provide rapid relief, but it can also be used as a preventative measure to reduce the frequency of future attacks. That dual action is really interesting. But as clinicians, we, we always have to be mindful of SAZI, especially when we're considering long-term use. What can you tell me about the safety profile of Remedjapant? That's a crucial point. A recent study published in Cephalalgia actually sheds light on this very question. This study followed a large group of patients using Remishapant for up to a year, and, and the findings are really quite encouraging. Okay, well, let's dive into those findings then. What were some of the most common side effects reported? That's interesting because the, the most common side effects weren't really what you might typically associate with migraine medications. Uh, we're talking about things like upper respiratory infections, uh, nasopharyngitis, and sinusitis, you know, basically mm -hmm. common ailments you'd see in, in any large group of people, regardless of the medication. So it sounds like those side effects were likely unrelated to the medication itself. That's good. Anything else that we need to be aware of? Well, importantly, the study didn't find any signs of liver damage which, as you know, is a major concern with some medications, especially with long-term use. There weren't any signals for hepatotoxicity, which is a big win for Rimagepan. Definitely makes it a more appealing option, especially for patients that might need to take it regularly for prevention. What about medication overuse headache or potential for abuse? Those are always things that we're thinking about when we're talking about migraine medications. You're right to bring those up. The cephalalgia study actually found no evidence of either of those issues, even with frequent dosing. So, so this makes Remish Pant a really attractive option for those patients who might require more frequent dosing or are worried about those potential complications. So far, Remish Pant sounds pretty promising. But how, how does this fit into the, the bigger picture of migraine management? Are we talking about like a, a major shift in our thinking here? Absolutely. The American Headache Society, the, yep. the AHS, recently released a position statement update that really highlights the significance of these CGRP targeting therapies. And, and they're actually advocating for a complete paradigm shift in, in how we approach migraine prevention. Okay, I feel like there's a but coming. Well, historically, clinicians have often gone through a whole trial and error process with older preventative medications, mm. medications that weren't even specifically designed for migraine and often came with a whole host of side effects. Yeah, I'm very familiar with those older treatment algorithms. So what's different now? Well, the, the AHS is now recommending CGRP targeting therapies like Rimagepant as a first line option for migraine prevention. So this is huge because it means we no longer have to go through that, that old song and dance with less effective and often poorly tolerated medications before we can try something that is specifically designed to target that migraine mechanism. So we're really talking about a turning point in how we manage migraine. Exactly. It's about recognizing that migraine is a a distinct neurological condition. It requires a targeted approach. Yeah, that reminds me of something we were talking about earlier, the safety profile of Remigepant, even with that long-term use. Do you maybe elaborate a little bit more about what makes this medication stand out in terms of safety? 
Absolutely. So the cephalalgia study, they didn't just look at the, the frequency of side effects. They also dug into the types of side effects that were being reported. And as we mentioned, those common side effects, they were largely unrelated to the medication itself. So so this really points to that targeted nature of remedjpan. Yeah. We're not seeing those widespread systemic side effects that you might see with some of the older migraine medications. That's a really important point, especially when we're talking about long-term prevention, right? We want to make sure that what we're prescribing isn't going to lead to other problems down the road. Exactly. And and remember, the study found no evidence of medication, overuse headache, or, or potential for abuse, which are you know serious concerns with some migraine treatments. So this makes Remedjpant a very appealing option for, for patients who need frequent dosing or have a history of those issues. All of that really paints a promising picture for Remedjpant. But I want to go back to something you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Patients who have trouble taking oral medication, especially during a migraine attack when you know nausea is a big symptom, what options are there for, for those patients? That's where Zavichpan comes in. So Zavichpan is a CGRP targeting medication that's delivered through a nasal spray, which is a, a welcome alternative for patients who just can't tolerate oral medications. Yeah, I can see how that would be a game changer. Right. Especially for people who experience those waves of nausea during a migraine attack when you're already feeling terrible and then having to take a pill just adds insult to injury. It's a very practical solution to a very common and, and distressing problem, and the research really supports it. Um, the Annals of Medical Surgery published a study highlighting two clinical trials that really show how well Zavagepant works. Okay, let's talk results. What kind of relief are we seeing with Zavagepant in these trials? Well, the results were impressive. A statistically significant percentage of patients actually had freedom from headache pain within just two hours of using that nasal spray. So that's pretty rapid relief when you need it most. Wow, that is fast acting. What about those other migraine symptoms, you know, nausea sensitivity to light and sound? Did the trials show any improvement in those areas? Yes, definitely. The trials showed that Zavage Pant didn't just address the headache pain, it also effectively reduced those other symptoms, so providing much needed relief across the board. So it's addressing the, the whole migraine experience, not just the pain itself, that's great. What about side effects? Anything to watch out for with Zavage Pant? Of course, like with any medication, there's always a chance of side effects. The most common ones reported with Zavage Pant were taste disorders, you know, dysgeusia and some nasal discomfort. Those sound pretty mild compared to some of the other side effects we see with migraine medications. Yeah, they're usually temporary and they don't seem to outweigh the benefits of the medication. Okay, so it seems like both Rimichant and Zavage Pant offer some really compelling new options for managing migraine. Remishpant with its you know, dual action for both acute treatment and prevention, and then Zavishpant providing a fast-acting non-oral option for those who need it. But I'm curious, from a clinical perspective, how do you see these medications fitting into your practice? What would you say is the key takeaway for our listeners today? I think the, the most important takeaway is that we're seeing a real paradigm shift in how we're approaching migraine care. We're moving away from this one-size-fits-all approach, and, and we're really embracing a more nuanced understanding of this complex condition. It's about recognizing that migraine is a unique neurological condition that needs a more targeted and individualized treatment. Exactly. And and CGRP targeting therapies like Remage Pants and Vabage Pants, they represent a big step forward in, in our ability to do just that, to provide that personalized care that really addresses the needs and preferences of each patient. Okay, so let's distill this down into some actionable steps. What are three key things that our listeners, you know, other healthcare providers out there can do right now to, to incorporate these advances into their own practice? That's a great question. Here are three clinically actionable points to consider. First, consider Rimijapant as a first-line option for both acute treatment and prevention of episodic migraine for appropriate patients. The research really supports its effectiveness and, and safety, even with long-term use. So we're really talking about a shift from those older treatment algorithms where we felt like we had to try a whole list of other medications before getting to something that was really effective. Exactly. Second, have those open and informative conversations with your patients about CGRP targeting therapies. Explain to them how these medications work, the potential benefits, and, and any risks. It's about giving patients the information they need so they can be active participants in their healthcare. Patient education is so important. The more they understand about their condition and the treatment options, the better equipped they are to make informed decisions. Absolutely. And, and finally, for patients who really struggle with oral medications, especially during an acute attack, think about Zabichimpant nasal spray as an option for that fast and effective relief. It could be a real game changer for those patients. It sounds like we're entering a, a new era of migraine management. 
one that's driven by you know a, a deeper understanding of the underlying mechanisms of this condition and a commitment to to that personalized patient-centered care I, I think that's a great way to put it. It's an exciting time to be at the forefront of migraine care. And, and the potential to really improve patients' lives is, is huge. It definitely feels like we're finally moving in the right direction, away from those old, ineffective, and often poorly tolerated treatments, and towards a more targeted and, and hopeful approach to managing migraine. But here's a thought-provoking question for everyone listening out there. With all these amazing advancements in migraine treatment, how will you integrate these new options into your practice? It really is an important question to think about. We are seeing a true shift in the migraine treatment landscape. And it's up to us as clinicians to embrace these new advancements and use them to, to provide the absolute best possible care for our patients. It's about you know, staying informed about the latest research and treatments and being willing to adapt our approach as new knowledge emerges. Absolutely. And, and it's not just about adding these new medications to our toolbox. It's about shifting our entire mindset about how we manage migraine, you mm. know, recognizing that this is a complex neurological condition that, that deserves our full attention. Yeah. It's about moving away from those outdated ideas that migraine is just a headache. Yeah. and treating it with the same seriousness and precision that we would any other neurological disorder. Exactly. Migraine is a serious health problem. It affects millions of people around the world, and we finally have the tools to, to make a real difference in their lives. It really is an exciting time to be a healthcare provider specializing in migraine. We are truly at a turning point in, in our ability to understand, treat, and ultimately prevent this condition. I, I completely agree. It's an honor to be a part of this evolution in migraine care. Okay, so to wrap things up, let's go back to those key sources that we talked about today. First, we have a multi-center, open-label, long-term safety study of Rimagepan for the acute treatment of migraine, published in Cephalalgia. This study gave us valuable insights into the safety and effectiveness of Rimagepan for both acute treatment and prevention. And then we talked about the American Headache Society's position statement update. Calcitonin gene-related peptide targeting therapies are a first-line option for the prevention of migraine, which was published in Headache. And finally, we, we discussed the potential of Zavage Pant nasal spray for acute migraine relief. We drew from the research in novel FDA-approved Zavage Pant drug for treating migraine, published in the Annals of Medical Surgery. We always encourage everyone to, to explore these sources further and you know really dig into the details of CGRP targeting therapies. This is a field that's constantly evolving, so staying informed is really crucial to giving your patients the best care. And, and don't forget, with these advancements comes a responsibility to really talk openly and honestly with your patients. Discuss those benefits and, and any risks of these new treatments and help them to make informed choices about their own health care. It's all about working together with patients to find the best way forward, a path that leads to lasting relief and a better quality of life for them. Absolutely. It's a privilege to be a part of this, this new chapter in migraine management. I'm excited to see what the future holds. That about wraps up another episode. Remember, knowledge is power, and staying informed is the key to providing truly exceptional care. Keep those brains curious, and, and we'll see you all next time. Disclaimer and bibliography in the description.